Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today is a very special day. Today is the first day that we are able to show you all three pedals side by side. Now I know all of you came here to see the new clutch pedal design, but I just want to say a couple of things before we move on. We feel extremely fortunate to have such a passionate community that cares so much about what they do. You guys have given us some feedback that has allowed us to make some critical changes that make these pedals what they are today. Now I know you're anxious to see the new clutch pedal, so let's get to it. Alright guys, this is our new clutch pedal design. Now there's a lot going on here, so I'll try to do my best to go over all the details to give you an idea of how this works. A clutch pedal inside of a real car is generally firm at the top of the stroke and lighter at the bottom of the stroke. And that's what we've tried to simulate here. Now similar to the throttle pedal, we have a main spring that is actually a bit heavier than the throttle pedal spring. Now the main difference between this and the throttle pedal is the addition of this mechanism attached at the top. Now these two additional springs, one here and one on this side, add that extra bit of tension at the top of the stroke. And these two plates at the top act as a lever for these two springs. So let me just give you a little bit of a demonstration to show you how this works. When you press on the pedal, it's going to be firm at the top and light at the bottom. Now you can still make all of the same adjustments that you can with the throttle pedal. You can still adjust the potentiometer travel. You can still adjust the pedal travel. You can still adjust the pedal tension. And you can still adjust the height of the pedal face. Now you might notice that there are additional holes on these two plates. And that's so you can put these springs in different positions to give you a different feel. So the feeling is completely adjustable. Okay guys, we hope you enjoyed this first look and demonstration of our new clutch pedal. We know that you guys are probably going to have a lot of questions, so go ahead and ask them, and I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. Now before we go, I just want to say thank you again to all of you who have given us so much great feedback. I don't think I've ever been part of a community that's been so passionate about what they do. And I just want to say thank you to all of you who have gotten so involved in our little project. The next few videos that we're going to be doing, we're going to be concentrating on testing all three pedals. So you won't want to miss that. But the next video coming up next weekend, we're going to be showcasing uh, a little something special that we've made. And uh, we hope you like it. Alright guys, we'll see you next time.